Yo, your favorite Tara Little Bacon Bear hanging out with two artists. Now, I don't know your positions, so you'll have to tell I'll let you introduce yourselves and you tell me how you contribute to this record. Okay, so we're in Kenji and Mariah. I'm Mariah Misha. I'm in Kenji one time. And we are a songwriting and production duo. So for this one, um, I did most of the vocal performance, well, all of it actually, and we both collaborated on production. That's right. And uh, so, I actually, go ahead. No, you go, and I'll say uh, something. <laughs> I was saying, behind the scenes, a lot of times I end up touching up the uh, uh, mix as well. And so that allows us to move you know, a lot more efficiently because we don't have a lot of people that we have to collaborate with to guarantee a record gets to master. So we're, we're hoping that that shows an uptick of new, new music. I, I do have to, I was curious to know if you guys were a unit when I first played your record and when I heard it, or if like you were the engineer, you were just a producer, I couldn't really figure it out. So tell me about the relationship between you guys and what brought you guys to this creative space. That's cool. I like that people can't figure it out, actually. Right. <laughs> well, um, right. Where do we start? Well, we're married, for starters. So What yeah. the fuck? You wait, 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 wait. You guys are the first married uh, versus winners ever. You guys are the first oh, couple. Yay. Yeah. I'm fine for the married folks. Love that. Oh, God yeah. is good, man. But that, that, that actually happened after we started this record. So this is very odd timing the way this all went down. <laughs> So we were, I mean, uh, when we first met each other, I was first coming into some opportunities working with uh, Kurt Farquhar and my man Henry Van Roden and a few other people in the music uh, TV placement, film placement area. Uh, and I never had those opportunities before. i had been rapping for a very long time and, you know. You yeah, know, you and everybody. <laughs> Yeah, but back when nobody cared, right? And then you're always looking for that thing to get, you know, your big thing. But then it all came at once. And so Mariah kind of met me as I was first starting to deal with that all coming at once. <laughs> so I really had no time. I had no time for her at all in the, in the emotional. It wasn't about that. It was like, all right, do you got any tracks? Because if you got tracks, I need tracks so I can put the tracks on the thing inside the contract. That's all I, was, all I cared about. And she... When I started to listen to our music, I was like, oh, no, nah, we have to work. Like, but we have to work perpetually. I can't just work with you for a week or two because nobody had a single on her yet. So then you can continue from that. All right. So I wrote this song in 2017 and I I produced, but like and Kenji is like a master finisher. So a lot of our records, like I'll start out, well, not all of them, but sometimes I'll start out and I'll put a lot of ideas together, musically or whatever. And then he comes in like just figure it out like how to make it into something that you want to actually hear on the radio. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, so I wrote the song in 2017. All the lyrics stayed the same. And then when I met him, he's like, let's add a bridge. So I added a bridge to it. Well, we added a bridge to it. And uh, he asked me to submit that song, well, a song for the TV placement. And I submitted one other song. He was like, no, let's maybe hold off on this one and use it for like you, like your actual stuff. And the Who Is She To You, which was named something else, we were just going to submit and just see what happens to it and not be as like connected emotionally to it. But we ended up actually putting it out. We got an opportunity and they were like, oh, it sounds really great. You should put this out. So we were like, oh. Okay, I never intended to have that as a single. I never intended to try to get it on the radio or anything like that. But some of our um, mentors and managers heard it and they were like, no, you got to go forward with this one. So it was really, yeah. really like surprising. And, and then it actually got the play. Like we, everything that you submit for placement doesn't make it, we, you right. know, but it definitely did like it pretty immediately. So they're like, oh, maybe something's going on with this record. And I didn't really expect that either. Because, you know, I, I was I was more so looking to get help everybody get in the door. And it might not have been something that panned out for everyone, but like, you know, at least you're in it, right? So yeah, God is great. Would you say that music brought y'all together between you and God, you God and music? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, our relationship definitely started out in the studio. Like we met at a party and set up a session. So our first interactions were, in the studio, listening to our music, talking through it. But what was cool about our relationship is that it's so much more than the music. Like the music was the thing, I mean, obviously God, it was totally divine because 
I never, first of all, we're, we met in LA. I don't meet people from back home in LA. Like I don't meet DMV people in LA like that. So that was already like, oh, wait a minute. So it was just such divine timing. He never goes to parties like that. So it was just divine timing. Us also in the space musically where we needed to be to be able to kind of receive each other. Like I was looking for collaborators at that time. He was doing what he was doing. So the whole time of everything just, yeah. That's superior. I love that. I definitely love to see that. I will have to ask, obviously, with the record, like, who is she to you? The title is kind of, you already know, like, right. who is she to you, Nikenji? <laughs> <laughs> who is she? That's right. Uh, man, so that's a good question. First of all, if we're talking about my real life, I've found a little bit of difficulty with the main request I've gotten for this song. Because the answer for who is she to you for me right now is just, this is my wife, this is my help. No, 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 no. I get it. It's I get it. It's difficult because uh, I know people, people have been constantly asking me, hey, and Kenji, can you make a response song? Can you put a verse on it? Like take from a man perspective. No, no, leave it is as is. Leave it, at, leave it <laughs> as who is she to you, not who are we to them. Right, right. <laughs> right. And that's the thing, my brain, that was difficult about even considering that is that my brain is so far removed from even thinking like that right now that it's like, it would be like rubbing against the grain of my thoughts to even force the lyrics to come out. So I'm like, if I don't have to, if it ain't clear money, I don't want to do it. AKA, you going to be sleeping on the couch if you give a verse that says something that ain't quite right. <laughs> and you know, you know, like this, <laughs> I, I will leave it. I will leave it there. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Listen, there there will be plenty of opportunities in the future, of course, with you guys to collab and like make sense of it. But a record like that was definitely a great record, and I wouldn't have imagined, obviously, that you guys would have come together in this way. And then you said that you wrote this separately, so I see the whole vision. I see the whole play. Um, would you say that you guys foresee this as a collaborative process forever, or do you guys see yourselves like working independently of one another, even when it gets frustrating or just because you want to? Well, yeah, I mean, we're for everything in marriage, so music. Is just <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the forever. music is just. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's up for everything. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that. so we'll always work together, whether it's this collaborative and Kenji and Mariah project, whether we're working, just writing with other artists whether we're having children, you know, we'll always work together, but we also have individual projects, um, collaborations with other people separately. And Kenji has some projects that are out by himself and Kenji one time. So we have big, big plans for lots of things within our scope. Yeah, and I, and I told Mariah when I first met her, the reason why I decided to work with her after our first studio session, which was like three days after we met, um, was that, I told her when I listen to her music, she's better than me. You're better than me. And and she's a she's a keep him on a keep him, keep him. He says you are oh, better real. than me. Ooh. At, at making this music stuff, she got me beat. You know, if people don't understand that the, on a on a table, if I had all the puzzle pieces out, it's like there's one missing to complete the picture. And she's that person. So even for my personal projects, there's an element of no, I gotta run through mariah for some executive production ideas even the stuff that has nothing to do with her brand specifically that i, I just want to release is like a one-off rap song whatever she has a, a way she thinks about what makes music feel good and interesting and timeless that i need to be a part of every single one of my songs so that makes for the perfect duo uh she said, thank you. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I love that for y'all. Well, to the verses when obviously hearing yourself on the radio is an exciting thing to get a placement like that. When you were hearing your fifth win come in on that last night, were you sure you had it in the bag this entire time or were you nervous at all? I'll tell you, I'll manage this. Okay, okay. So, look, man, I love the DMV, but we're here to be a standard for improvement because I'm telling you, we don't know what a good quality mix sounds like in the global streams. We're not studying mix engineering. 
We're not studying what is this type of saturation, what is that type of mastery versus this type of compression. By by way, I mean DMV artists, artists that come up out of. Like, I was born in Fairfax, Virginia. You I don't want to put. I don't. Virginia? I don't. I almost want to stop you right there because it's not true. You just haven't found them yet because they exist. Look, but but they're but they're small minority. Far Isis, in between, yes. Jesus. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like in LA, I ain't no small minority. They ain't no small minority. They know, they know if you coming up trying to go against somebody, you better have your mix at this level. And so we're trying to show, you know, that. But when when I kind of heard where people's mixes were before the show started, um, each night I kind of knew we had it in the back for each person. Cause, I, cause we're we're outperforming them mix wise. And that's that's love. Like come to us if you want help. Oh my god. Because you need it. <laughs> All right, it's love. <laughs> I'll praise you, John. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be offensive. He said, if y'all need some help mixing and mastering your record, we can help you because you need it. And Ooh. we got the friends. We came out to LA to find those people so we can plug you up. It's not going to cost the arm and the leg. You just got to have relationships. Well, you know, I, I do work at Versus to prove and like disprove the stigma that, you know, DMV artists don't have the resource, talent or infrastructure here because we do have it every single day. And like you said, sometimes it does require leaving the DMV and seeing the other world. But in those other places, sometimes opportunities are far and in between because you already know LA is the land of dreams. Everybody write a song. You know, everybody's got something that they work on. But Bad. sometimes you have to find that you have to find the the knowledge, the know-how to bring it back to somebody who may not know about it at all here. Exactly. You know, we're still working on yeah. that. And that's what we're all about, you know, bringing it back to our community, not just the DMV, but the black community in general. In general, right. We're always looking out, trying to find somebody to sign us or to da-da-da, somebody to give away our ownership to. And we need to, you know, be able to own what we do, own our creativity, and know that we have the resources within us and within the people in our community to do that so right and that's you know, that's, that's what, how Ryan and i met about, right that's how we met like i had first got in the door with tv i don't see no black people around my age i'm in my 20s that that have plugs into tv not no maybe their record they there. owner maybe their publisher and maybe things like that but as far as like i'm talking to my boy that freestyles and we both rap together and like oh yeah i could put you on blackish i could put you on cbs i could put no i don't know none of them people so when i met her i'm asking all of my my you know friends in the industry hey can i plug up my friends can i put my friends in there and they were all looking it's mainly you know white people they looked at me like <laughs> I was crazy they looked at me like i was crazy because they're just not used they're even in this position of having the power to be able to share. They're not used to young black artists sharing. They're not used to it. That's not, not true. Not saying, hey, that's so point. not, we know Good. that's not true in the Kenji. It could be an experiential thing. I, I don't think know. it's I true. Also, sorry. For some. I was gonna say, I think it's true and also not true. It just depends on the context. Like right. I think there are people obviously there doing it, but the, it doesn't match up with the amount of talent we have in our community. Exactly. You know, and that's that's to me, like the amount of talent within the black community, the amount of I go out on the street and hear somebody playing drums and it's crazy. Right. Or I go to somebody's church and they're really singing and what we really could be doing, I think it's not really truly reflected in the ratio of right. what's happening there. So yeah, no, shout out to everybody who's out there doing it because we are there, but we need to be there in mass, you right. know, to match up what we really, with what we really have inside of us, you know. That's what I'm saying. When I say not happening, I'm talking about ratio yeah. of talent to opportunity. It's definitely happening, though. Okay, respectfully, I hear it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. That I feel like we could, we could, de we could definitely have more to uncover there in that. But oh, yeah. just like, just like I said for myself, I know that you guys are working towards this every single day when you guys put out projects and just spread information like this and reach out for opportunities like this just to see if they stick. Um, when you're trying to persevere when things are tough and they're not really going your way, because like I said, this can be the land of dreams and this can be like such a hit and a miss industry. What keeps you guys uplifted as a unit and apart? Prayer, honestly, I think people totally overestimate how much they're able to do without having connection to your ancestors, to God, to the source of our life. We didn't make ourselves. So why do we think that we know how to use ourselves in the best way? Like we're stuck yeah. when I'm stuck. You know what I'm saying? When I'm stuck, I'm sitting here reaching for something that I can't create. And I know I'm helpless and I know that. But like before I really took prayer more seriously, my ego was so strong that I was like, nah, I'm just going to keep writing. It's going to come. I'm just going to sit here in the studio and it's going to, that's not how it works. It's not, it's not mine 
to get. It's mine to be blessed to have, you know? And so for me, it's definitely prayer and things get difficult every day. I don't think we miss a day where things get difficult. So uh, prayer is, is an everyday thing. Really is every couple hours thing or even more frequently than that, honestly. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, sometimes when something ain't going right, you just shout at the ceiling like, God, please, I'm literally, I'm begging, just pl please just stop. That's right. Yeah. And you know, that's the other thing. When things are going right, I be trying to make sure I be praying at those signs, like thanking God when things are working, because I feel a lot more self-conscious now when I get into a tough position. I'm like, dang, I didn't, I didn't ask, I didn't say thank you to God for the last thing. So my bad, I was my really bad, stupid my bad, asking. My bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> you know my heart. Yeah. Well, I, I would agree to that. I mean, it's not much to add to that. God, you know, is the source of all things and the source of us. So, you know, definitely need to tap into the creator um, yeah, de all the time. And also, um, recently for me, uh, meditation, yoga, um, looking for more therapeutic tools, self-therapy, and trying to be more self-aware and really just getting down to the core of myself and my soul and exploring the depths of myself because half the time the battle is all the time the battle's inside you know in the way you're thinking of it and the way you're looking at things and being able to look at your perspective and really see the truth rather than your feelings sometimes so that's been <clears throat> excuse me no you're good you're, you're good same <laughs> same <laughs> That's well, what, you know, I've been obviously, you guys didn't do this independently by yourself. You couldn't have called for yourself all night long. You had people that supported you in this venture. So I'll give you a chance to shout all those people out because I know you got some. Look, our families, man, are, are our families are dedicated to um, supporting their youth. And, I, and that's one thing that probably makes Mariah and I very unique children is that we came up in families that were going over and above to like push us out of where we were into a greater level and that they they killed y'all's phone lines i'm sorry i, I, <laughs> I was like i don't I pay that bill i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah our family like our village is crazy strong and like to see how they showed up for this i mean we knew they would show up but to see how they showed up our families our friends i mean my sister's friends from college my friends from growing up so, so many people, and really it was a home team type of thing. Like everybody who was close to our core that really supported us. Yeah, I didn't do much promotion of this at all. I mean, it's, I told my mom and she called my family. It was not, no, I wasn't putting on Instagram, Twitter, nothing. That didn't, didn't need any of that. I put it on Instagram story once. <laughs> it she like, said she's seen our it. Our family, these people love us, man. We would not be here without our families. Like when I was in LA the first couple years, I've been here like seven years now. Um, the first couple of years I was working with some big, big people and I don't even talk about that right now, but the money kind of started running out and it was my family that made sure I was straight. Like it wasn't no, you know, fans. <laughs> it was yeah. my family because I wasn't sharing a lot of what was going on. So that's kind of our ace in the hole. That's true. Family first. Well, with the rest of the year still ahead of us, uh, do you guys intend to make this a part of a project or did, or is Who Is She Do You already off a project? No, it's just a single. And I think I think she'll stay a single. Yeah, for okay. this. So, I mean, we <laughs> she'll stay a single. That's but good. we have some other things coming out. We have collaborative work that we're putting out this year between us and with other people. We're working on some solo work too. So it's constant work. And of course, some things in the TV and film space that'll be coming out as well. Yeah. I always ask uh, versus artists, are they willing to collab with anybody that hears this or watches this for the very first time and is like, hey, I need help with this or I would love to tap in with you because we love your record, that kind of thing. Are you guys open to this type of, uh, type of opportunity? Well, Say that again. Look, we said this earlier. Look, if y'all need help and y'all need help and you listening to this interview, call, text, do what you need to do. Reach out to us. We will help you. Yeah, for sure. We will for help sure. you. And you know what? I love working with female producers. You know, like, we out here. Let's link up. Let's do this together. And not just female producers, but just want to put But, but especially y'all. But especially y'all. Yeah, like, you know, let's, let's really link up because there's some power here that, you know, people don't always know, but we in here. Right. And well, I can't even talk about most of what I'm doing. That's the other thing. Like, I'm, I'm really 
supported right now financially by white people. So I need to use my extra <laughs> spare time. I need to use my time to support my own people. <laughs> Like for real, He's I don't need, about white people right now. I, I don't need <laughs> y'all's money. They're paying me to make music. Okay, so I'll help you. I don't need anything. I'm not gonna rip. I'm not gonna rip you off and take all your publishing. I don't need nothing. I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, dang. We know now. We know now. We know sticking it to the man. Now I appreciate <laughs> y'all for real. And you know, once once you know this is all over, I don't even know what that means at this point. Once this is all over, I hope we get a chance to collaborate in a real space and see each other in real life. And congratulate you guys again on this awesome win with Who Is She to You. I believed in it. I believed in it, and you guys definitely pulled it off. Um, where can we follow you guys on Instagram and say hello and congratulations and things like that? You can follow me at Mariah Miche. That's M E S H A E at Mariah Miche. I'm at Nkenji one time, N K E N G E, number one, letter X. And we're at Nkenji and Mariah as well um, on all of the socials. Okay, collaborative page. Appreciate that. Well, no, 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 no. Those are my horns. I'll let you guys introduce your record. I know you're a duo, but you can do it together. You can do it apart, but just introduce your record to the DMV. Again, congratulations. Uh, if you guys are looking for them also, you can check them out in my Instagram story. That's at Little Bacon Bear, but take it away. This is in Kendra. Ooh. What about <laughs> It's okay. You got it. I got you. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> That's my whole life. And Mariah. <laughs> this is in Kenji and Mariah, and this is our song. Who, Who is, is she? she to you? Peace. I love to see that for y'all. High five for real. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. All so right.